The 10 U.S. cities everybody wants to move to right now. Picking up and moving across the country, or even a state away, is a daunting proposition requiring planning, packing, moving trucks, and a whole lot of determination. Some cities are drawing an especially high level of out-of-state interest, and there is data to prove it. More than anywhere else, out-of-state home shoppers are scouring listings in the more affordable metros in the South and Midwest. In fact, six of the ten metros we're highlighting have a median home list price at or below the national price tag of $440,000 in July, according to the most recent Realtor.com data. Seven have a price per square foot below the current national median of $224. None of the big cities on the east or west coasts made the list, likely because of the higher-than-average home prices and today's elevated mortgage rates. Here are the metros luring the most out-of-town home shoppers. 1. Phoenix, Arizona. The idea of moving to Phoenix now, as the midsummer temperatures have broken records for the number of consecutive days above 110 degrees, makes any sane person start to sweat. But that's not stopping a whole lot of would-be desert dwellers from perusing these toasty properties. The reach of the out-of-state demand for Phoenix stretches from Alaska to Texas and Minnesota to Hawaii. Phoenix not only tops our list of demand from out-of-state, it also has the highest home prices of any place on the list. Homes are more than 20% above the national median list price of $440,000. However, Phoenix prices are down from their peak last year and rents have come down in recent months, making housing more affordable than in recent years. For a little more than the metro's median home price, home shoppers can find a three-bedroom condo downtown, in the city's historic Roosevelt Row Arts District. It's a sure bet for anyone moving from out of state and looking to be steeped in Phoenix's city life. For those looking for more space, but at the same average price range for Phoenix, home shoppers can get a corner lot, four-bedroom home in North Phoenix with a three-car garage. 2. Chicago, Illinois. Out-of-state buyers are a familiar sight in Chicago, as per, a realtor in Chicago. They might have a big house with a lawn and a two-car garage, but they also want to be able to take a handful of trips into the big city every year. So they might find a condo near the center of Chicago and have it set up as a short-term rental most of the year, or even have a timeshare arrangement with their friends. They can come in for all the big city attractions. They can see Major League Baseball, basketball, concerts, festivals, you name it. Parents might look at the cost of student housing, and they're saying, oh, my gosh, this is expensive, so they look at it as a chance to invest while the kid is in school. 3. Atlanta, Georgia. Moving to the south, Atlanta is earning home shopper eyeballs from several nearby areas, highlighting this growing market's regional appeal. Almost all of Atlanta's top out-of-state housing demand is coming from neighboring Florida, Alabama, and Tennessee. Although the median list price in Atlanta is only about 2% below the national median of $440,000, the list price per square foot in Atlanta is still about 12% less than the national figure. That means home shoppers are getting more square footage for every dollar in Atlanta, compared with the national market. Atlanta is another place where rents have been dropping, which could make it easier for folks from out of state to rent before buying in the city. 4. Dallas, Texas. Dallas became the stage for a 1980s cultural obsession, captured on magazine covers, coffee mugs, and t-shirts that all posed the question, who shot JR? But now, this relatively affordable metropolitan population hub of the Lone Star State is the obsession of would-be Texans from around the country. That's at least partly due to the jobs that have been created locally. Companies such as Toyota, Charles Schwab, and Amazon have been expanding in and relocating to the area in recent years. Workers moving into the area need places to live. In 42 out-of-state metro areas, home shoppers are looking the most at Dallas. And unlike some of the other metros on this list, where the appeal is mostly regional, out-of-state interest in Dallas has a wide reach, spanning from Oregon to New York. 5. Myrtle Beach, SC. Myrtle Beach is one of these cities that just keep popping up on our lists of strong housing markets. From our deep dive earlier this year into the places where new construction is booming, Myrtle Beach is at the top of that list the best markets for affordable houses in close proximity to golf courses, Myrtle Beach has a ton going for it. Home prices in this coastal metro dipped in late 2022 about 10% from their peak in the middle of the year, but they've been on the rise since March. 
For $350,000, buyers can find a three-bedroom home within walking distance of the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk and Beach. For a little more, home buyers can get a custom-built, three-bedroom home on a quarter acre with a two-car garage. 6. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Minneapolis is another big Midwestern housing market that shows strength as big coastal metros sputter along. Minneapolis is one of the strongest markets right now for sellers, where homes are still selling relatively fast and prices are still up year over year. That's still true for the Twin Cities, which includes the nearby city of St. Paul. Those prices, in a bustling metropolitan area that's home to national retailers such as Target and Best Buy, are drawing the most attention from the neighboring Dakotas and Iowa, confirming Minneapolis' status as a strong regional destination for home shoppers. 7. St. Louis, Mo. St. Louis, the gateway to the West, is one of the most affordable metros on our list. Its median home list price is about 34% below the national average. Surprisingly, St. Louis is one of the cities where people can still find plenty of homes for under $200,000. It's also straddling a state line, with portions of the metro area in Illinois. This means even viewers from inside Missouri and Illinois are counted as out-of-state viewers. Nonetheless, the data shows St. Louis is another regional destination, with lots of home shoppers from Arkansas and Indiana. For as little as $130,000, a home shopper can score a two-bedroom condo just across the street from St. Louis's famous Forest Park, Zoo, and Art Museum. 8. Tampa, Florida. Florida became a hot spot during the COVID-19 pandemic as folks from all over the country moved in. The state's largest metro on the Gulf Coast has been drawing out-of-state home shoppers from the northern tip of Michigan and upstate New York to Ohio and Tennessee, and as far west as Texas. Tampa is one of the pricier metros, with a price per square foot of $260, 15% above the national figure of $224. But the homes here are a bit smaller than average, so the median price tag of $449,000 is closer to the national average. The high numbers were for people who would be looking to retire in Florida, especially from New Yorkers and other East Coast states. But the rise of remote work has meant more mid-career professionals moving into Tampa, and more frequently from small and mid-sized Midwestern cities. If I can work anywhere, why would I live somewhere where I don't see the sun for six months out of the year? Don't you agree? 9. Memphis, Tennessee. Buyers looking for affordable real estate are heading to Memphis. The Midwestern Metro is the most affordable, by size, of any place on our list, at $160 per square foot for the median listing. That's 29% below the national average of $224. This is another city where there are many options for buyers looking for a house priced below $200,000. Memphis is the most affordable of Tennessee's metro markets, and home prices have been fairly stable here since about the middle of 2022. Nashville, in contrast, saw prices spike faster in 2020 and 2021, then drop more precipitously last year before beginning to climb again. For the median home price of $325,000, a buyer can get a sprawling four-bedroom home on a large lot, with a neighborhood country club and golf course nearby. 10. Charlotte, North Carolina. Rounding out our list of metros attracting lots of out-of-state attention is Charlotte, where home prices are still a bit below the national average. But it's not just the prices attracting people, says a realtor. Lower tax situation here has been a big draw for people who have been coming from Chicago, New Jersey, New York, as well as from California. The diversifying local economy in Charlotte also has a lot to do with it as does its relatively low cost of living. There is a lot of banking, finance, hospitality, tech business, etc. Major company headquarters have been moving to Charlotte. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Let us know your feedback in the comment section below. Remember, like, share, and subscribe.